Hello Church. My name's Jane, I'm part of the Central Campus in Manchester. It's really good to be able to share this thought with you today, that it's God with us that is the promise. The Bible's full of great encouragement that God is faithful to what he says he'll do. He's faithful to his promises made to individuals, to nations and to all people, and we're part of that. And what we see in the Bible allows us great confidence or faith that God's faithful to his promises to us too. I believe God hears our prayers. Sometimes we see uh, those prayers answered really clearly, and I've, I've known that, I don't know if you have too. Sometimes we feel a promise from God uh, encouraging us to keep going in faith and to, to keep praying, to keep pressing on, to keep believing, and then we see the answer to that prayer in the end. I've got some of that in my story as well. I'd love to talk to you about that sometime. But sometimes the change we ask for doesn't come. And uh, to help us with that, I want to look at um, an awesome promise that's recorded in Isaiah in the Bible. We often read it at Christmas, but its implications go way beyond December uh, throughout the year and throughout our lives. It says this in Isaiah 7 verse 14, and it's, it's kind of talked about again in Matthew 1 verse 23 as well, the fulfilment of the promise. It says, look, the virgin will conceive a child, should give birth to a son, and they'll call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. God, through Jesus and in turn the Holy Spirit, is with us in everything. That's a promise that God gives. So how, how does this kind of help us with, with understanding what's going on here? Well, whenever we pray, we lift our eyes to this overarching promise. God is with us. God is the promise of love, of hope, of peace, of comfort, of joy, of freedom, all these in the midst of everything we face. And therefore, we can face anything with God. Imagine the best friend or uh, a parent who's kind of with you in everything. You know, the kind of person that celebrates in your joy, um, brings peace in difficult times and cries with you when you're sad. I think God is like that. God celebrates, us with our, celebrates with us in our joy. He envelops us in peace as we face difficulty and he weeps with us in our sadness but all while sowing hope into our lives. It's my experience, and I hope it will be yours too, that more than any kind of an answer to a specific request, it's God with us that is the promise, Emmanuel. And the challenge from that is, you know, have a think. What is it that seems impossible on your own? Can you face when God is with you? Uh, I've put some further reading uh, ideas into the, um, into the devotion as well. Read about uh, God being your peace in Isaiah 9 verse 6, bringing comfort in John 14 verse 15 to 30, that God is love, Romans 5 verse 5, that life with God brings freedom, um, 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17. I believe God brings physical and mental healing into our lives. And, uh, and read about the fruits of the Holy Spirit in Galatians 5 verse 22. God is the promise in your life. Thank you. Have a brilliant day.